burning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station, and I won an award. It's the Morning Dish with the 2017 Radio Personality of the Year Award winner, Stephen Phillips. Well, my daddy told me one day I'd amount to something. And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Stephen, be ready, because I can dish it out. Well, my problem is I can't take it. (laughs) And Packy Smith is a winner, too. Um, are we all aware that 2017 was a few years ago? Well, all right. He's not in radio for the money, just the glory. You have got to get Stephen Phillips off the radio. He has lost it. Here's Stephen Phillips. All right, folks, welcome back. And we have got uh, a hero of mine actually on the uh, radio with us, Bo Hopkins. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you doing, Steve? So far, so good, man. This is a real honor to get to uh, to interview you after all the times that I've watched you on TV. Man, I can remember back... Uh, uh, American Graffiti, I guess that's one of the bigger shows that you were known uh, for. But, of course, I am a big uh, White Lightning fan. I always like White Lightning. But you was kind of doing both of them at the same time, wasn't you? Well, I finished Graffiti, and uh, and then I flew straight down to uh, Arkansas to start White Lightning with Bert. Yeah. Right. I'd, I'd rehearse on the weekends. Right. So, but uh, uh, Wild Bunch was my first picture, and... That was and uh, that was my big break, and Bill Holden got me in two pictures after that. So the Wild Bunch was uh, like sixty nine or Bill 70. Holden was like a father, and so was uh, Ernest Borgine. Wow, wow, what a so career! I've been you. lucky, and I've been so lucky to work with great actors. You know, and, uh, yeah, it's like a tennis player. If you play somebody better than you, you will learn more. Well, no, you're right about that. It kind of makes you step up to the plate a little bit more. But you've had a what a career. I mean, you've been through. Like I said, with the American Graffiti, you were on, uh, I believe you were even on, I remember seeing you on uh, the Rockford Files. You was on the Rockford Files, too, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did uh, th- uh, three of those with Jimmy, yeah. 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 And I did two uh, Murder, She Wrote, right. because they have good they had good writers, and I like both Jimmy and, and her, and I, uh, uh, well, you know, Dynasty came later. Right. I, I really didn't want to do a series. I was doing Rodeo Girl with Catherine Ross when they offered me a part, and I turned it down. Right. And then they called my agent back and offered so much money, uh, I would have been a fool to turn that down. <laughs> so, you know. Now you're talking. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I got, I got hooked in. didn't matter what. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, what, the Newton Boys, you was on the Newton Boys. That was a... That was a... Yes, yes, I did the Newton boys. That was a fun one to do. I got to play a postmaster general who also at that time could arrest people. Right. So out of all the movies, which one is the one that you think, oh, this is my favorite one that I've ever done? Well, you know, of course, the Wild Bunch is, you know, it's like your first love. I mean, that's right. how I got my break because I did three pictures with Peck and Paul after that. Right. And Bill Holden, like I said, got me in the others. You know, the most fun I ever had on a picture was two. One was with Johnny Cash and uh, and uh, Daddy's Rose and Eddie. Right. And the other was uh, when I played Pretty Boy Floyd in uh, Dan Curtis's movie uh, about the uh, killing in Sacramento. That uh, and then of course. Um, uh, Melvin, uh, uh, hell, it'll come to me. But anyway, he he was chasing Floyd the whole time. But all my buddies were working on it. And I got to fire the machine guns and oh yeah, that's fun. With Johnny, I got to work with June and Johnny and right. and Thaddeus Rose, and that was a lot of fun. I mean, he 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 is a he was not only a great person, uh, he was a great man. I've heard a lot of, I never knew Johnny Cash, but I knew people that knew him. And uh, I heard a lot of folks that says, you know, Johnny Cash was, uh, and him and his wife were straight up. And they said he was a cut up. They said he cut up all the time. And just Oh, yeah. 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 We had so much fun. In fact, Johnny gave me his guitar that he had. And uh, 
because June was teaching me strings on it, right. and I'm outside practicing with the bus, you know, by his bus. Right. And uh, I'm trying to hit the strings and hurts, you know, holding them <laughs> things down. And Johnny walked by and, and said, hey, both, it was easy. Everybody would do it. Yeah. Well, now, can you play now? <laughs> oh, I, I, you know what? My grandmother, when I was a kid, taught uh, piano. Right. And I should have taken lessons in, but I, I was too involved in baseball. And other things, and I thought guys that walked in the, my grandma's house go to the piano room uh, with sissies. Right, I know how that is. Little did I know I was the sissy because I didn't know how. I, I should have learned how to play from my grandma and also with Johnny. Yeah. But no, I didn't um, uh, uh, learn how to play. I did a little on the piano, right. but with the... Uh, with 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 his guitar, I I didn't because I went off on another movie. Right. I came back from Italy and uh, then I went off on another one. This was when I was you know working all the time, and uh, I just had, had it lay there. So. Right. Well, that's but something. I did take up painting, and I painted I don't know fifteen pictures that are hanging on walls all over the place. So. Well, that's pretty good. But now you're a southern boy. But then boy. I quit painting. You know, once I painted and and all these people were buying my paintings, mostly Ken folk. Right. Um, you know, one day I just quit painting. I don't know. It's like I do something, and once I I get it conquered, uh, I don't do it anymore. Man, I'm glad that didn't happen in acting. Yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs> Me too. So now, what do you do now to pass the time and take it easy? Being all the COVID stuff's going on, you sitting at the house just? Well, I I finished. I just sort of uh, came out of retirement or semi-retirement, an actor never retires. Right. Um, uh, Ronnie Howard called me up, wanted me to come down to Atlanta and do a picture with him called Hillbilly Elegy. Right. It's a true story. Uh, it was a bestseller. And uh, I couldn't turn Ronnie down because, you know, we did graffiti together. And right. his mom and dad became great friends uh, when I... Got my card on the Andy Griffin show. Right. And uh, so uh, Goober never let me forget it because for 17 years I fly to Montgomery and do his golf tournament along with other great actors. Right. And uh, and, uh, he used to say when he'd introduce everybody, yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, I started career Bo Hopkins. (laughs) (laughs) I couldn't argue with him because I got my card on that movie. I mean, on that TV show, well, and now, he was a great guy. God bless him. Now that that and, movie um, is a little bit on on hold right now, is it not? Because of all that's going on. Yes, it's on hold right now. I was hoping that you know I I got a starring role in it with uh, Glenn Close and Amy Adams and. Um, thing about it is almost like when I did the Wild Bunch, all those great actors, right. and then I worked with the great actresses right right now. So it was an honor, and I had a great time doing it. I had a great time in Atlanta. You know, we shot for two and a half months. So I I, uh, I was hoping it would come out, but Netflix will probably hold it, and then if it, if it goes to theaters... Uh, I'll get paid, but if it goes straight to Netflix, they'll just show it. Yeah. Well, we'll be anxiously waiting for it, I guarantee it. And like I said, uh, I am a big fan from right off of, uh, like I said, the, I guess the first movie that I really remember you in was The uh, White Lightning. And, uh, which I that liked. was a fun part, yeah. yeah that was uh, a, Bert and I had a great time on that yeah. movie. There ain't nobody ever We did another one does. later, you know. Uh, I did uh, The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I got to meet Sarah Miles. What a career! We, well, man, we we used to go out and drink tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila's good for the I heart. Know. Yep. Hey, I got to tell you, something is. Yeah. But uh, well, it's you know, it's uh, it's I've been so blessed, and uh, thank God I was ready when. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. A lot of other actors did, too. 
Well, I sure am glad did, to yeah, hear that you did still... a lot of. I did uh, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, and uh, Wild Wild West, and uh, you know every actor starts out doing those. If you want to work, you got right. to show people, you know, what you're doing. And the more you're in those television shows, then uh, the more credit credits you roll up. Right. Well, listen, I know you're a busy man, and I sure do appreciate you calling in. And uh, like I said, it's been an honor. I'd like to call you back maybe in a uh, uh, few weeks and maybe talk some more if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine, Steve. You're you're from my part of the country, but I have to change the accent sometimes <laughs> when I'm talking to somebody from New York. Well, you just talk normal <laughs> right here because we're just normal folks, I guarantee it. But anyway, we've been talking well, to uh, – Bo Hopkins here on the radio, and he has uh, got a new movie coming out, so we'll be looking forward to that. And like I said, I sure do appreciate your time. You bet, Steve. Call me anytime you want. All right. Take take care now. Folks, don't forget, you can listen online anywhere in the world at WJULradio.com. That is WJULradio.com. Or you can listen live at Lake 97.7, WJUL. And don't forget, we're going to be uploading this to the uh, YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So just go to The Morning Dish. You can listen to the show again. And uh, give us a like and give us a share. We appreciate it.